Carmen Renee here with a new video for you, which really is an extension of the last video I did on gold standard skincare. You may have noticed that I intentionally left out a category that's really quite important to me and relevant in my personal skincare because it requires its own video. I'm talking about peptides. Peptides play really well with all the other gold standard actives. In fact, to me, they're like the booster formulas that take everything to the next level, especially if you have well aging concerns. Beyond the word peptides, I don't think many of us really understand what does what, what's right for us. So there are four different categories of peptides which do different things. I would say the majority of the peptides that you find in formulas are called signal peptides. Over time, our collagen breaks down, our skin loses elasticity. When that breakdown starts, amino acids and active molecules are formed. These are known as peptides, and what they do is signal our skin, hey, we're losing collagen, we need to generate more. So when we apply these signal peptides topically, it tricks the skin into producing new collagen. All the action is happening in the deeper layers of the skin where the cells are really communicating for the skin to act in a more healthy and youthful way. This is what really kind of sets peptides apart, which in turn will reduce the appearance of wrinkles, sagging, volume loss, all the things associated with losing elasticity in our skin. You also get the potency without any potential undesirable skin reactions. Probably the first one that came into prominence in skincare is Matrixyl. It was found to really be effective at stimulating the production of collagen and elastin, as well as being good for wound healing and also just improving that leathery roughness of the skin as well as the appearance of wrinkles. This is also that peptide that really encouraged the beauty industry to explore other peptides. Hands down, one of my favorite formulas that contain matrixyl in them is from The Ordinary, what will always be the buffet to me, the multi-peptide serum plus the copper peptides 1%. I even prefer this to their formula with matrixyl in the name. Decium just does peptides exceptionally well, and especially if you're looking for an option, you don't want to spend that much money, peptide serums tend to be really expensive. This is an all rounder. It does it all. Copper peptides fall into my second category of peptides, which is the carrier peptides. It's been around since the 80s. It's probably the first peptide to ever be incorporated into skincare. It is definitely one of the most well examined peptides around and my favorite. They help stabilize and deliver copper, which is crucial for the growth of elastin, collagen, and also for wound healing. My personal favorite is no mystery here. It's from Neod, their CAIS3. Nothing I have tried has had the same impact on my skin, which is just better everything. The CAIL, which I also love, although I use them in chunks of time and not as regularly as I would the CAIS, mainly because of the texture. This is definitely a winter formula. This has just been more effective at really keeping my skin voluminous, like keeping that volume here, keeping me filler free. Um, I've personally become really fascinated by neuropeptides and enzyme inhibiting peptides, which I'm beginning to see in a lot of formulas that I tend to love. These are meant to inhibit nerve signals, so it has the potential to soften fine lines that may be caused by muscle movement and contractions. So kind of like a topical Botox effect, but of course, not quite as invasive, the application and the effects are not as immediate or dramatic. Of course, I'm talking about agiraline, which was the first peptide on the market to specifically target expression lines and wrinkles. So it's been around, but I am excited about the newest generation version of agiraline, which is agiraline amplified. So this latest version is of course even more effective. It has a bigger impact on muscle relaxation as well as reduces age-related changes in deeper and more layers of the skin. As per usual, it's really difficult to determine just by inky name alone, whether it is the older Agiraline or the new Agiraline Amplified, it goes by the same inky name. But usually the brands that are using Agiraline Amplified, they're quite proud of it, so they will mention it. So the way this works and how it effectively reduces the appearance of expression lines is that it weakens the contraction of the muscles while we're making an expression, but also speeds up the relaxation of the muscles and thereby speeding up the recovery of our skin after we make the expression. So these lines are not sticking around for so long. There are two standout formulas for me, which I feel are effective, not just 
on a more immediate basis, such as like when you're using um, a device, but also on the longer term basis as well. And I find these to be great formulas to pair with something that works on a much deeper level, like retinoids. From PCA Skin, their Exilinea Pro Peptide Serum is really pretty intense. This has one focus and it's all about lines and wrinkles. Texturally, this is also very nice. It's hydrating, but it absorbs and it's just easy to layer. So alongside the Agiraline Amplified, this also contains another neuropeptide called SNAP8, which is a chain of eight amino acids that are also geared at affecting nerve to muscle communication. Additionally, this helps with wrinkle depth and overall skin texture. Otherwise, probably my favorite format for agiraline is in a moisturizer. A moisturizer in and of itself is one of the most immediate ways to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It just coats your skin and softens everything. So that in conjunction with a Ghirelline Amplified, I think is such a great formula. One that I've been loving and I find to be a real powerhouse moisturizer, especially if you have well aging concerns. From Dr. C Labo, their Aqua Collagen Gel and Rich Lift X. This is a brand that really is unsurprisingly focused on skincare technology. This is like a jiggly pudding. It's got that gel texture, but don't be fooled by the gelishness of it all. It is substantial as a moisturizer. When it comes to textures and skincare products, I mean, the Japanese formulas really can't be beat. The technology in this moisturizer is about permeability and what can really plump out and you know work on all the layers of your skin. So when you use it, you do feel the difference. That's why it's so substantial. This has the Agiraline Amplified in it, as well as other ingredients that are just great for well-aging skin. I have often used these two together and I really think it works at relaxing, especially the expression lines on my forehead. Lastly, we have the enzyme inhibiting peptides. And what they do is they hinder the activity of enzymes that do undesirable things. I've taken particular interest in this type of peptide, particularly the ones that inhibit the production of tyranase, which is the enzyme responsible for the overproduction of melanin. So it's the reason why we get hyperpigmentation, which just happens to be my main concern. Tetrapeptide PKEK, or also known as tetrapeptide 30, is one such peptide. It helps with lightening areas of discoloration, so wherever there's excess melanin, but also lightening areas where new melanin is being formed. So I first noticed this in the Yod's Repigment, which is a serum focused on evening the skin tone and lightening areas of excess discoloration. I remember at the time it was this new peptide, but now I'm beginning to see it pop up in a lot of peptide formulations aimed to just brighten the complexion and even out the skin tone. So that's it, everyone. There are a lot of different peptides out there, but these are specifically the ones that I have used and loved and I feel, you know, really do work. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.